And the next step is to actually sit down and implement your model and then you know, debug that implementation. Um, and there, are, there are a few steps here. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to make sure that your model runs it all. And then once your model is running, then um, I highly recommend making sure that you can overfit a single batch. Um, and this is super critical because um, it actually catches a ton of bugs. Um, like you, you'd, be, you'd be shocked how many times I've like, implemented a model and um, it's not working and then I you know, finally go back and overfit a single batch and realize that I can't do it. And that will very much narrow down the space of, um, of possible bugs that you can consider. And then finally, once, you're, once you can overfit a single batch, then the next thing to do is try to find some known result that you can compare to. Um, and this is like kind of the last step in making you confident that your model is working the way that it should be working. All right, so once things are running, you know, once you can actually run training and, um, and your loss starts to move, then the next thing to do is to try to overfit a, overfit a single batch of data. Um, and this is a, like, in my experience, this is a heuristic that catches an absurd number of bugs. Um, and what this actually means is, um, you know, it's not that you want loss to go down on a single batch, but you really want to be able to get loss arbitrarily close to zero on a single batch. And there are a few ways that can fail. Um, you know, so instead of going to zero, your error could go up, or your error could go down for a while and then explode, or your error could oscillate, go down and go up, and then go down and go up, or your error could plateau. You know, it goes down to 0 0.01 and never gets any lower than that. Um, if error goes up, most commonly, this is probably due to a flip sign somewhere. Like maybe you're, um, maybe you're, you're minimizing the, um, the log probability instead of the negative log probability. If the error explodes, I think most often this is caused by a numerical issue. So um, you know, you're taking an exponent somewhere or you're, you're taking a log somewhere of a negative number, for example. If the error oscillates, um, the thing I would try usually first is um, just lower the learning rate. So your learning rate might be too high. And if that doesn't work, then I think the next step is really to take a look at your data um, and just make sure that your, you know, your labels are in the right order and your data is not being corrupted in some way. If the error plateaus, um, usually what I would try is just turning up the learning rate to start and um, making sure that you've gotten rid of all of your regularization. So like over-regularizing is a common uh, cause of not being able to overfit a single batch. And if none of those things work, then I would just you know, carefully look at your loss function. Make sure that the, you have the right inputs to it and it's being computed the right way. And um, I would go back and look at your data pipeline. So again, just you know, take a peek at your data and make sure it's, it appears that it could be, um, it could be fit by this model. 